I recently have gotten some questions about impedance, and there was some confusion about current and a number of other things, so I thought, well, I'll do a video on it. Maybe I can help explain what impedance is. And this is the circuit I'm going to use. It's very simple, series circuit. And I've got a power transformer. And we're not using the secondary, so that's not in play. It's a, it run, the transformer runs on a 120 volts AC, 60 cycle. And we've got a bulb there just for a current indicator. And we're going to be measuring the voltage across the coil. And we're going to be measuring the current with an ammeter through the circuit. And we're going to start with DC. And then we'll uh, do exactly the same thing with AC. And then we'll come back and see what the results are for both DC and AC. Okay, we got everything set up on DC. The left meter is current, the right meter is voltage. And I'm going to start increasing the voltage here. And I'm going to go up to about uh, 100 milliamps would be a good place to stop. That way it'll be easy to compare between AC and DC. If I get it on 100 milliamps here, pretty close. And okay, right there. Oh. A little more. All right. Well, that's close enough, I think. I can move that down a little bit. There we go. All right. I'll capture it. That's close enough. Okay. Okay, now I'm gonna turn AC on and bring it up to uh, try to get as close to 100 milliamps as I can so they're the same. Oops. Okay, let me turn that down a little bit here. Okay, that's pretty close. Let's take a look at the results. This is the DC results. 
at 100 milliamps, we ended up with 1.3 volts DC. And putting it into this formula, R equals voltage over current divided by current. You can see that we end up with 13 ohms when we run DC through that primary. Now let's take a look at the AC results. Here they are. That's quite a bit different. To get the same amount of current, we had to turn the voltage up to 121.3 volts. And we divide that by 100 milliamps. And the resistance for AC, or the impedance, is 1,213 ohms. I hope this helps you understand the difference between ohms, DC ohms, and AC impedance. Thanks for watching.